Do you have a, uh, a team for us, Steve? No, we don't yet. Uh, I'll name that at the toss tomorrow, but um, you know, I think we're back on the same wicket we played on the other night against the West Indies, so I dare say it'll take a little bit of spin, so uh, Adam Zampa certainly comes into consideration for, for the team. So is he more likely, you think, to, to play? Yeah, I'd say he's a, he's a pretty good chance tomorrow, so um, we'll wait and see when we, we look at the wicket tomorrow, but I dare say he's a, he's a fair chance to start, yeah. How much does, does the fact you're playing the West Indies, I know JL said yesterday that part of the reason he wasn't playing last game was because Samuels and these sort of guys are playing quite well, did, did that sort of hurt his chances a little bit, the fact that the wing is in the final? Uh, we thought that the wicket the other day wasn't going to spin much, we thought it would carry through and that our quick bowlers would do the job. Um, with Maxwell and, and obviously Finch, who bowled a few overs as well, there to do a job. Um, but it turned out the wicket probably spun a bit more than we anticipated, so that brings Adam Zampa back into the fold. What did you make of the game last night? I thought the West Indies scrapped really well uh, again. Um, you know, we had them three for 20 in our game and they managed to get 280, and then yesterday four for, for 20 and they got 280. So they scrapped incredibly well to, to get to that score and that's always going to be uh, tough to chase so the bowlers did the job again as well I thought Gabriel was uh, very good he started well uh, he bowled good pace consistently and put the batters under pressure and took early wickets so um, yeah it looked like a, a pretty polished performance by the West Indies. You mentioned Gabriel so he almost he looked like a different bowler compared to the one you faced in that test series back home. I think he he even he had capabilities in that series as well. Uh, he got the ball through quite nicely. Um, it was probably just a little bit inconsistent. He bowled a few good balls. Um, oh, I think I remember one where he got Joe Burns through the gate with a, a good ball. Um, so he's, he's certainly got those capabilities in him. Um, and obviously the extra pace that he's bringing here, um, you know, bowling consistently around 145, that's, that hurries you up a little bit. And um, he's been pretty good in his first two games. Have you had to reassess your strategies to bowl to Marlon Samuels? He's obviously got two pretty good scores against you in a row. Yeah, he's, he's done pretty well. So we've, we've talked about a few things with him. Um, you know, he's got the capabilities as well to, to be dangerous, as we've seen. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get him out early uh, tomorrow. He also he mentioned in the post-match ceremony that he's happy that um, people are still talking to him throughout the innings. That, that, you know, he thrives on that sort of stuff. Is that going to be a, a message from you from the guys to... Maybe a bit more quiet, or oh, hopefully we can just let our actions do the the talking. Um, you know, he's obviously he's, he's been in pretty good nick this this series, uh, well, particularly against us, uh, scoring a ninety and a hundred. So um, you know, we have, we're going to have to get him out early if we want to have some success tomorrow. What about you and um, Karen? Are you all all good after the uh, Ambrose uh, <laughs> Ambrose Dean Jones moment? Yeah, though, I, I actually was really struggling to, to pick the ball up out of his hand um, with the tape that he had around it. So, um, you know, I, I just got on with it. They, the umpires didn't think there was an issue there and, um, no, I just got on with it. So it's not like he was bowling with any great pace or anything like that. So um, you just got to try and watch the ball as closely as possible. Um, and I got through it in the end. What, um, what is it about him, though? I mean, I don't know if a couple of guys have had a few incidents. Mitchell Stark had that a big one in the IPL. Is it something that he manages to get under people's skins or a bit chirpy or, or what? Oh, he doesn't mind a chat. That's, mm. But that's all right. That's part of the game. So, no, I, I'm not sure. That was just a, a little thing with the tape on his hand. Uh, I don't think he, he goes looking for any trouble or anything like that. It was just the way I saw it at the time. I, I didn't pick the first couple of balls up out of his hand and wanted him to take off the tape. And the umpires deemed it to be okay, so that's fine. Got on with it. What about you know, JL and Mitch both said the other day Australians pride themselves on bringing their best in a final and big games, and historically that's, that's the case. Is there, do you feel like this group's ready to, to put in their best performance tomorrow? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I think we haven't played our best cricket so far throughout this series. Um, having said that, all you want to do is make it into the final and then from there you, you want to be playing your best cricket. So um, we, we haven't had a polished performance yet, so it would be nice to, to have that tomorrow. Um, I think we've we've been inconsistent with the way we've started with the ball um, and that, that's gone on for quite a while now. Uh, I thought we started very well in the last game and our middle overs was... 
um, where we probably let ourselves down. So it'd be nice to have a polished performance with the ball and, and then I guess with the bat, just again about the top four, probably one of, the, one of the players in the top four going on to get a big one and guys to be able to bat around the person whose day it is and um, if we do that, hopefully we can have some success tomorrow. Just on the opening tap, obviously Mitch has come back from injury, he's been in and out of the team. Do you feel he's sort of on an upward trajectory getting towards his best? Yeah, I think he's obviously come back off an injury and, it, you know, for someone who bowls 150 kilometres an hour, that, that can take a bit of time. So, um, you know, I think he's, he's bowled pretty well throughout this series. Uh, a little bit inconsistent, but we've expected that, you know, coming back from an injury. So, look, I think he's getting better and better and um, I think come Sri Lanka he'll be, you know, really hitting his straps and, and ready to go for that series over there. Just about Sonny Ryan and Jason said yesterday he thinks that opposition batsmen are sort of willing to sit on him because he is so dangerous and he sees economy rates really low. Is that a tactic you'll be taking tomorrow to try and maybe not take too many risks against a goal, I think? I think in the, the last two games we've, we've played Sunil particularly well. Um, you know, I think we've taken him for over 40 and, haven't, and I don't think he's got a wicket either. So, um, you know, I think if you do that... He's probably one of their biggest wicket takers. So if you negate him from taking wickets, then um, you know I think you, you go a long way to to having it to posting a good total. There's a, a little bit of turn in the pitch, as you said, but is it the sort of surface where it, you know, helps you? You feel pretty confident facing um, Sunil. Yeah, I think the 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 surface here in Barbados is that bit of extra bounce, so you can sort of hit the ball at the top of the bounce, if if that makes sense. So. Um, you know, it's probably been the, the easiest wicket to play spin on out of the last couple that we've played on. So, yeah, look, there's no doubt he's a dangerous bowler and he's, he's got um, some great skills. So hopefully we can play him well tomorrow and, and post a big total with a bat. And just one more on Zampa. I can't imagine conference is really an issue for him, but how was he after being left out of the, um, you know, the two games here in Barbados? Yeah, he was a bit disappointed, um, which is fair enough. Um, you know, when, whenever you miss out, you should be disappointed. So uh, he's worked hard in the nets the last couple of days and he's, he's bowled well in the opportunities that he's had. So, um, you know, if he, if he gets the opportunity tomorrow, I'm sure he'll be all over it. Um, you know, it's a final for Australia and one that we want to win. So, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll, he'll be all over that opportunity. And for yourself, like, since becoming um, captain of the one-day team, you've had a couple of serious wins and and good wins, but what would it mean um, to win a tri-series like this and one that's been, I suppose, as fiercely in, uh, you know, competitive? Yeah, look, I, I, that's my, I guess, goal uh, for this team, just to win every series that we play in. So, yeah, come a, another final, um, you know, I think Australians really step up in, in finals. So hopefully we see that tomorrow and it'd be nice to, to wrap up a series um, against the, the West Indies and, and South Africa. I think they're, they're both very good one-day sides, um, particularly in these conditions. I think the West Indies have, have been up for the fight in these conditions and South Africa are a quality team. So, um, yeah, look, it'll be nice to, to win the series tomorrow. Have the, um, the wind has shocked you at all about just how good and competitive they have? I mean, for, for a fair while now, they've been a pretty, pretty mediocre team. And, you know, they look a lot different in this series. Yeah, they've they've been up for the challenge in this series. That's for sure. Um, you know, they're playing at home in their own backyard, which always helps. I think, um, or any team. So, uh, they're, they're they're pretty dangerous in these conditions. So, um, yeah, hopefully it'll be good to knock them off tomorrow.